Hi. Mr. Abrams, long time no see. Yeah. Please, sit down. How, how have you been? I'm not dead. That's a plus. Sure. I actually almost died yesterday. Heck, I would have been in the fetal position crying had I not been strapped into a chair. Seriously, how's it been going? I don't... I, uh... Are you driving yet? No, 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 nothing like that. I've just been trying to finish up high school. Or finding the perfect moment to kill myself. Either or. Last year, right? Yes, Aruni. Then what are you doing? You said you had an interest in cooking, right? I, I guess. Well, start thinking about that. A brighter future is a planned one. How's your personal life been? Anything out of character? Out of character? I'm talking about your clothes. My... What? You know, I actually checked to make sure I was wearing clothes. That's weird. Is that weird? Where's all the black? The, the, it's not emo, it's goth. Guess I grew out of it. I just, with your mother being back, it would uh, develop, not disappear. And what would my mother have to do with any of that exactly? You said countless times that she's the you reason- You don't know shit about my mother. Hey, I'm not- My mother hasn't done a goddamn thing for me for my entire life, let alone have me feel things. Let's just change the subject. You know, how much longer is this meeting? We just started it. I, I don't know why I still have to come here. Like, Maggie had me because of my past, because cause she thought I was going to, like, stick a firecracker up a cat's asshole or something, but that, that's over. And I hope she gets a firecracker stuck up her ass. There's nothing wrong with me. Oh, I'm, I'm not so sure that, uh, that, that I could agree with that. I want to run a few tests, if, uh, if that's okay. No. Yellow. Looks like barf. Ugh. Seriously? A cut there? You could choose better. Ooh. These... These are cute, don't you think? I don't get it. I thought we were going shopping for... slutty clothes. We are. But... this... this is all... long sleeve shit. What about the short shorts and the belly? Laura, this is slut shopping. My form of slut shopping. <laughs> That's why I always wear this stuff. It's, um, it's, it's reverse psychology. I guess. So, what's the word of my favorite family? Is Timmy good? How's my Care Bear? That's my nickname for Claire. Or, Chair. It's Chair, bitch. Nothing else. And they're all fucking peachy. Not that I care. Mm-hmm. You do know what we do with these types of hangers. Bobchins. Yes! Oh my god, here we go. Okay, so, Laura, we wear these clothes for reverse psychology. Right? Yeah. And once they get those clothes off of us, that's when we have stuff like this ready for them. Is that... 
lingerie. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir, do you have any of this in a size that will fit a precious little 11 year old girl? What? No. We're a respectable establishment, ma'am. We sell our provocative clothing ages 14 and up. Well, can you look in the back, please? Mmm. Becky, what are you doing? Those aren't even cute. Becky? Excuse me, we have to go. Would you mind putting these back for us? Are you flipping kidding me? Thanks! Yeah, screw you too, you stupid cunt. Becky, what was that? I... I thought we were going to buy those. That guy was a jerk. And a... A... Complete bewitch. Yeah, but... It needed to be done. Becky... I have a question. What's that, child? Why don't you cuss? Is it... Do you know how? <laughs> of course I know how. Then why don't you? Because cursing is a disgusting habit. Now come on, I have something fun we can do. Oh? We're gonna become blood sisters. How'd your meeting go? Oh, it went great. You know how much I love talking about myself. How the fuck do you think it went, Olivia? By the way, where's your computer? It's, uh, it's under my bed. Be careful with it. It's on its last leg. What, the laptop? Or the bed? Probably both. Hey, Claire. Hey. Mom, do you think you can watch Harry tonight? Really? You want me to babysit? Well, Dad's the alternative. Yeah, true. So, you have plans? Yep. Gonna hang out with some old friends. Bella, Amber, Kate. Yeah, I can watch him. Oh, thanks, Mom. Anytime. Hey, ready to wake up? Yeah! Come on. Nice to see how those AA meetings have been treating you. Stop. Why have you gone back to this? You were doing so well. It just... It makes me forget. Forget what? The shit I've done. To Claire. To Timmy. Chris, Laura, you, Matt. <clears throat> Stop doing that! Why? You're gonna scare the baby! Look, we're a team, right? You'll help me through my shit, I'll help you through yours. Yeah. Then that's what we'll have to do. Welcome back to Celebrity Cook-Offs. I'm Kyle Salazar, and the dog sitting next to me is my fiancé, Kristen. Thank you, Kyle. What a great day for a cook-off. Sure. Earlier today, Gordon Ramsay presented an extraordinary dish to the judges. That'll definitely be one heck of a dish to beat. That's right, Kyle, but let's see what the judges think. Shut the fuck up, Kristen. No one cares what you think. Oh. Detroit newcomer Timmy Abrams is presenting to the judges some kind of pasta spaghetti. Let's see what the judges think. The judges are eating the shit out of it! They're saying his dish is better than Gordon Ramsay's! Timmy Abrams just won a cooking competition against Gordon frickin' Ramsay! The crowd goes wild! Whoa! Yeah! What are you working on? <gasps> Olivia. Hi. What are you working on? I, I need to start thinking about my future. Like, like, what kind of car am I going to drive? Maybe a Ferrari or a pedo van. And am I going to join the mafia? 
What kind of future are... Cooking. You're interested in cooking? Yeah, that's what I said. Timmy! <laughs> He's gonna learn everyone's name before Grandmommy, isn't he? Well, maybe you should go by a name easier than Grandmommy. Maybe, but that's what I am. You know, I used to call you the crazy bitch who left this family to struggle with nothing. You gonna go by that? Hey, what's... Oh. Oh. Oh, Harry. No. I have to go change him. But I want to talk more about that cooking stuff later. I feel like I barely know you guys. Francisco Martinez. 3,800. Jesus Christ. How the hell am I going to sell myself on the streets to get that much? Chris. Hey, Chris. Camilla? Hey, what's up? Hey, I didn't know you took this course. Yeah, week in classes. Fantastic, right? <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs> Brooke Peterson? Oh, Chris, baby, no. She's, like, way out of your league. Thanks. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't mean... It's... You're, you're cute. You're uh, attractive. I mean, I totally date... Um, it's just that Brooke is hot. Like, hot, hot. And for a freshman, her bot... Um, this is weird. I, I made it weird. Camilla, did you forget I like Dick? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not checking out Brooke... I think, I think you might be interested in Brooke the way you're talking. Might have to warn her about a restraining order. So, I haven't, like, been in this class before, so... Okay, so this professor is kind of a douche. Just sit here, take notes, you should be fine. And, hey, so I bought an apartment... You did? Well, I had to live somewhere. I thought you would live at a sorority or... Gross. Or crash at another frat. <laughs> the only good thing about that place was a roof over my head. So I thought, if you weren't busy, maybe Wednesday you could help me move in? Yeah, sure. You don't have plans? Chris, if you have plans, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I don't have plans Wednesday. I'm not skipping anything for you. You're fine, Camilla. <sighs> Thank you. Welcome to my room. Whoa. You have your own room? Uh, yeah. I mean, who else was I going to share it with? Well... Besides boys, of course. I have to share a room with my brothers. Well, why don't you get to sleep with the amazing goddess blinded by idiotness? She has the baby. <laughs> Had a baby? Well, I don't have any siblings anyway. Just me and Dad. If he's around. So, are we doing this? Um, yeah, about that. My mom, she... She told me about this stuff. HIV. Hmm? Wouldn't that come from... <laughs> Are you a hypochondriac? A what? It doesn't matter. Now, hold out your finger. Wait! <sighs> what? Is it gonna hurt? It's just a needle. Yeah, but... Oh, just hold on to this plush and you'll be fine. Thanks. I... I don't like needles. My... my dad, he seems to like them. I don't know why. Ugh, would you just shut- Sorry. Can we start now? Yeah. Wait, Becky. What? Why do you have a giraffe stuffed animal? <laughs> because giraffes are freaking amazing. <sighs> Tonight's been fun. I'm glad I've gotten the chance to talk to you again, Bella. Yeah, I'm glad too. I've just been so busy parenting, you know?
I completely understand. You know, we should do more days like this. Yeah, I know. I don't know how everyone else feels, but I think you've earned it. Earned it? A night out, talk with your friends, have a drink once in a while, have sex with the guy next door blowing up your phone. Yeah, but that's your life. Harry's all I need. Whatever you say. But that guy over there has been eyeballing your boobs for the past three minutes. I'm gonna head back inside. You know, it's not a bad thing to enjoy life every now and then. Olivia, hey! What did you need? Hey, you bailed on us last night. Yeah, I just had to head home. Well, I'm glad to hear that you made it home alright. Yeah, I- Olivia, where the fuck's the printer? What was- It was just Timmy being- Tim- Oh, that's me. What? Olivia, I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. What the hell was that? Come on, come on. Where the fuck are you? You stupid son of a bitch. Oh, there you are. How am I supposed to find anything in all this clutter? Look at this fucking mess. You didn't even bother to hide your weed. Well, finders keepers. And what the heck is this? A dog toy? We don't even have a dog. We don't even have a dog, Olivia. <laughs> Where's the printer? What? We don't have a printer. What? Since when? We've never had one. No, I remember printing out these comic books. That was at Uncle Ben's. That's right. And no, we don't see him anymore because he touches kids. Wait, wait, you don't have a printer? Where the hell do you get ink from, Olivia? The octopus's cock? Was it squid? A squid? I, it doesn't matter. Great. Now how am I going to get money? What are you trying to print? Are you printing out dollar bills? I mean, maybe. Timmy, that's illegal. Well, I need money. How much money? A couple thousand. Why? Wait. Light bulb. I have an idea. What? Timmy? I am so proud of you. Thanks. Laura, you do know there are other important things in the world than sex and all that stuff, right? Really? Like what? Attention. What? Do you have an Instagram? No. Twitter? No. Snapchat? Nope. We'll have to make you one then. I don't even have a phone. <sighs> Just observe. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take a selfie with my hand covering half my face. But why? You'll see. Okay, I'm gonna post it on Instagram with the comment, I'm so ugly. I'm confused. Becky, you're pretty. The thing that hurts guys the most is the girl they find just precious feeling negative about themselves. Really? Yes. See, look at these comments. No, you are not. In all caps. For crying emoji. Mm-hmm. And there's another. Haha, <laughs> yes you are. Give me that! Anyway, Laura, the point is any attention is good, whether good or bad. I guess that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Now, let's practice. I want you to write a letter to your school counselor saying you're thinking about killing yourself. Mm. Uh, 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 do, do, you, do you have a condom? No. Oh, uh, I, I, uh, you know uh, what? I could head over to... It's just fine. It's fine. Let's just... Yeah. Um. Uh, 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 uh. 
<sighs> I'm gonna eat you up like some mashed potatoes. Mm. <laughs> Fluffy fucking mashed potatoes, salt and pepper, and butter, gravy, fucking Resident Evil herbs and shit. Not like the instant mashed potatoes, but like some homemade shit, you know, like mom used to, I mean, not to mention my mom, but shit, um. Uh, what? Is something wrong? No, no. I'm gonna cook you up until you're mushy, enough for me to eat with a spoon, and then I'm gonna eat you out of a skillet. Uh, what? What? Do you have a problem? You said you wanted to, you know, I'm not gonna do this if I don't have consent. Babe. I know what I said, Austin. I changed my mind. I'm now here to think. Like, we're thinking? We're th that's what we're doing right now? We're, we're thinking? Thinking now? I love Harry. I really do love Harry. Harry? Is that, like, your boyfriend or something? I bet I could kick his ass. What? No, no. Harry's a baby! Oh. He's just a baby. Got it. Well, I mean, I could definitely kick a baby's ass, so my statement still stands. What? Babies are a bunch of skin-headed looking douchebags anyway. I find Harry adorable. And I can't wait to meet the young man he grows to be. But with that, he's stealing my best friend from me. Oh, shit. That really does suck. This baby really does have it coming. Maybe I should beat the shit out of this baby for disrespecting you. As a woman in this society, you deserve better than that. Maybe that's for the best. Maybe I'm a bad influence on Claire. It just sucks. And it hurts. Because I never get to see her anymore. And you're not giving me any advice. I, I, don't, I don't know what to think. Babe, we're not even in class and you're throwing around these hard questions. I don't know the answers to. I'm just saying. I don't know what to think. I really don't. Yeah, me neither. I'm gonna go get some Cheetos. Oh, fuck yeah, some Cheetos? Let me get some of those. I mean, I wouldn't turn down some fucking cheesy goodness. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I had one of these meetings scheduled. I'm glad you did too. How long has this been going on? About a week. I, I don't know. It was before my sister's wedding. Way before. This time it was... It was worse. It was... It was vision after vision after vision. But you're able to turn away those thoughts. I don't know if I can. Forever? Yesterday... Me and Aunt Olivia's family went to an amusement park in Upper Michigan. Mm-hmm. It was just a day after Olivia woke up. It was, it was stupid. Driving home, I had another one of those, those thoughts. My sister and my brother-in-law, with our little Laura in the back and her other two babies in the car behind us. And all that went through my head for a whole damn minute was ramming my car into the car in the next lane. Carol? I can't have these thoughts. She's the little sister. I'm supposed to be strong for her. Carol, now is the time you should be putting yourself first. But my family needs me. When was the last time you took care of yourself before anyone else? What, uh, what's that? My phone. Shit, I didn't know it was this late. Look, I hate to leave after, uh, uh, take care? Uh... Scott. <laughs> Scott. So, what are we doing today? We're gonna set up some papers around the school. Try to get some new pledges. Makes sense. It's like a damn ghost town in that house. I can't turn around in there without catching a damn dust ball rolling in the distance. Ugh. 
I guess kicking out Camilla didn't help, did it? I guess not. <laughs> I... I know you've been talking to her. Are you friends? Yeah, I guess. She's still pissed at me? I don't know. She hasn't talked about you. Hmm. Hey, hand me that staple gun, would you? Thanks. You ever hate yourself? Hate myself? For what you are. I hate myself for a lot of things. Like, like not knowing how to whistle or... Or throwing up on my elementary school crush. For being gay? There's a lot more to hate yourself for than who you sleep with. Yeah. I guess you're right. Hello? Mr. Abrams? You told me to start thinking about my future. Yes, I did. Well, I did. I have been. And I'm ready to act on it. No, you don't just jump on things, Timmy. You have to... What's this? It's a cooking class in Portland. It starts at the end of the week. So reservations would be closed. See, that's what I thought. But I called him and we talked. It wasn't him but an agent or manager or something. And they said, they, they said, reservations can still be tweaked. Mr. Francisco Martinez? Yeah. And your parents are okay with this? They don't care. I'm sure they do. You know, I was checking out this Portland place on images. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like this, like this new Las Vegas. And everyone loves New Vegas or L Las Vegas. How are you going to get $3,800 by Thursday? I think I have a pretty good plan. Which is? It's a secret. <sighs> so what do you want from me? My acceptance? I just want you to know that I'm taking action. That I'm not a fuck up. That I'm not messed up in the head like my mom or my dad or my little sister. The guy in the front of your building offers hand jobs, But I'm here. And I'm trying to succeed. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Abrams. Now, can you please... Yeah. Ready to head out? Yeah. Well, tonight was fun, right? <clears throat> Claire, I need to say something. Yeah? I don't want you to go. No matter if you're 21 and steal something today, or... or 80 and steal my grits from right under me. You're my best friend. And I don't want you to be stolen from me. What I'm trying to say is... I hope Harry's a sharer. Bella, you're right. I do. I, I do need days off. I want these days off, and I would never leave you. You're my best friend as I am yours. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and for the record, Harry is a sharer. A really good sharer. And I'll be stealing your grits when we're old and 80 and, and fat, and sitting in those rocking chairs arguing about whose hips kept the better shape. <laughs> I'm trying to be the one to hook up with the hottest nurse there. I can't wait. You were so good today. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Now don't forget to hand that letter to your counselor. I will. And Becky? Yeah? I know I may be a little girl, but thanks for teaching me things no one else takes the time to. You're welcome. And who knows, with learning this early, I may be more popular than you were in high school. What? With everything you taught me? Yeah, maybe.
Anyways, I gotta go. Bye, backpack. <sighs> well, looks like I'm going to have to kill her. Hey! Hey. Harry? Sleeping. Good. Thanks. Thank you for watching him. You're welcome. <sighs> uh. You okay? Yeah, I'm just... tired. I think. Not really. This feeling is so familiar. Well, why don't you go lay down? Maybe with a good night's sleep you'll feel better in the morning. Thanks, Mom. So, just to be clear, you want to start selling my product at your school? At my school, yes. Why take all that risk? I need the money. No other way to make fast cash in this city. This... This is easy money. You're good for your word? Always. And if the police catch you, you're not gonna, like, fucking squeal on me, right? Of course not. <laughs> I, I, I won't, I won't. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Thank you. This is good. You can count on me.